Hello people, this is Beckner announcement video. Second time, third time, fourth time, I don't even know how many times I've done this. First few times I kept filling up my hard drive. Last time I just took a, I took a picture. So, um, I got a new laptop. I'm here to kind of show it off, review it, show my new setup. Um, it is morning, it is 9.52, so almost 10 o'clock. Um, I've got an Asus Republic of Gamers laptop. It weighs about half the size of a small desktop, if not the same size as a small desktop. Um, got my dual screens and I'm currently running Windows 10 so let's take a look at it so second screen first screen got my wife out of the bathroom um they're both 1080p screens this is the um original desktop background I have not changed it yet the picture I was going to use looks terrible and really isn't the way I want it to be yet um I is I am running Windows 10 as you can see it took me a little bit to do that there is a glitch when updating to Windows 10 if you have your internet connected on some higher end laptops for some reason or computers for some reason it will error at like 40 percent and say it didn't load on its original boot so yeah the, the way around that's just disconnect your internet i just turned off my wi-fi because i don't have a cord run over here yet probably won't in this house i'm about to leave this house i've got two usbs right here i've got one here one here i've got my hdmi cord over here now as well as my power cord that used to be over here um, behind where Derpy's sitting. I've also got two USBs here. One of them runs my external hard drive. The other one's running my blue USB hub which is now over there. That has my camera right there. My headset plugged into it and got three auxiliary ports right there. Um, I don't know what the third one's for to tell the truth. Um, it's got a headset, a microphone, and all that, which is going to be probably what I'm going to end up doing that. There's an issue with that that I'll get into later. Um, actually, no, I'll go ahead and cover it while I've got a working mic. Um, there's an issue between those and the entire sound card for some reason. They don't work together very well. Like, I'll start using it, and then the, it'll cut out, and the whole thing will crash. Like, the whole entire... Um, if I'm recording will crash for some reason. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the fact that it's capturing sound from two different sources. Because used to my other laptop just ran everything through the sound card in these instead of the built in one. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Um, I hoped I fixed it last night, but I'm really not sure. And then I did something else to try and fix it. And I don't know if that one worked yet because I've not had, been able to test it. So, um, it's got an i7 processor right there. It's got the black sticker. So um, if you don't know, the color of the sticker actually means something. Black is um, high end, blue is media, and white is just kind of, you know, you write text documents. It's got an NVIDIA G GeForce GTX graphics card. And let's get to the um, system and all of that. Here comes my wife. It's got 16 gigs of memory installed, as you can see right there. Very nice. This is a plastic screen. My wife is looking at me like I'm a nutcase. Yep. It is um plastic screen just like, like my other one. They're very nice. It's not a touch screen. Um the reason why I don't like the glass screens or touch screens is because they leave like you get really bad glare and in this house it's not a very good thing to get because it ag would aggravate the hell out of me. There's my other one had the same plastic screen so it's pretty nice. Um, it just doesn't glare hardly at all. This one right here gets a little bit because it's facing directly at it. But uh, let me move on to the second part so I don't fill up my hard drive here. Okay, and welcome back to the second part. Um, which camera's on? They, they both have the lights on. Oh, so this is my Logitech webcam. Let's see how well the other one is going to look. Okay, it's not going to let me change right now. I am going to have to... Um, I'll do that real quick. So I've got to stop this video real quick. Start okay, so this is my installed camera. It's a lot better than my other one. It's not nearly as laggy. It's still just as bad as quality. It does not adjust for the light back there. So let's move back over to this camera just because I like this one better and it makes me look so much better. Mm. Okay, so. Yeah, let's get some light on. Okay, so like I was saying, um, I actually have my sound, my recording thing up over here to make sure the headset keeps working. I'm not really sure what it is exactly that makes this stop working. Also not sure how loud this is. Um so I used to use an app called um SCAM, but it's I can't find it anymore in the Windows Store. Um yes I use the Windows Store apps for these parts right here just 
I mean, they, they were quick, they weren't very intensive, and they didn't include a bunch of other junk with them. They only recorded webcam, which is all I wanted. Because um, the one that I was using, um, Expressions, it, it kind of sucks. So, I um, actually don't have that on this PC right now, so I probably won't get it. Hopefully, I don't need it for anything. But, um, it, it everything is just very simple. Um, so, I was talking about the screen last. So, like I was saying, so these screens, they're, they're the plastic screen. Like, you know, you buy a monitor from Walmart or somewhere, it's got a plastic screen. Same thing with the TV. They don't get smudges as bad whenever people touch them, even though I don't like people touching my screens because you push on them and mess them up and all that. And, but um, gla glass screens are better not to do that. But at the same time, plastic screens can't be touch screens. They'd be pressure screens, but not touch screens. Um, I just also just don't like touch screens because, you know, you're playing a game, your wife comes behind you, touches the screen, and it's done for. You might as well just lay down on the ground and die because zombies are going to get you. They're all going to get you. Either that or the dragon. <laughs> I've been playing Skyrim. Um, this thing runs amazing, by the way. It runs Skyrim Special Edition. I'm running it at like 59 FPS, mod it. And from the um, GeForce Experience optimization, I've turned on extra settings that it said I should, that it said it's not optimized for. Optimization means it'll run at a flat, I think, run it, run it at a flat 60 FPS or whatever. I've, Whatever FPS I set it to, I think it was 60 FPS I set it to. Um, even if you can, I'm not even sure if I could. Um, I don't. I don't remember changing anything on it. But for whatever it checks it for for FPS, it sets it to a flat to where it will always run at that. Well, I decided, you know, I want to turn on some extra features, so I turned on some God rays, some lens flares, um, some, uh, some 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 uh, some other shaders things, and the uh, whole installation is modded at the same time. So sorry, I keep looking this way. See this window. Let's fix that. There you go. Now I could just kind of look at myself down here and not over there. Test. Okay. Um so yeah, I've been just playing Skyrim. It's it runs really nicely actually. It looks amazing now. Um other one it didn't really make it look that great because it had the power to, but it just couldn't because it did, it did, there just wasn't enough video RAM available because the Intel graphics card I had only had one gig of video RAM and then it had the ability to take my system RAM and use it as video RAM so I had a total of not six of nine if nothing else needed RAM but Windows needs some RAM processes need some RAM just everything needs a little bit of RAM so I didn't have that much Skyrim was taking all it could take, and it just didn't do that. Then Grand Theft Auto V, I, I know I've never done that on video. Um, I might do a little bit of that with Bradley, depending on how, if this mic keeps working, and I really hope it does. Um, I might just do a little playing around video of Grand Theft Auto V, show off my stupid car, my stupid character, and all that. <laughs> and, you know, just stupid old simple stuff. Um, B Half Survival has started up. Um, and it was pretty much everything I recorded got trashed because it all was crap. And the parts where I had this mic working didn't work. Like the video corrupted as soon as the mic crashed. Um, so and then there was no video there. And then the other part I recorded, I recorded with the built-in mic right here, which sounds like crap as well. As you can guess from any ambient noise mic, this these right here would be the only good one unless I get a mic stand right here or here. If I put it here, well, it's in the way of the camera, so it would have to be here. And then, but I'm looking this way the whole time. You're only seeing the side of my face, but at least you're seeing the good side. <laughs> um, I've always noticed it is the side I always show. Huh, that side does look better. It's also got a headset in the way, but oh well. Um, ignore my shape, by the way. It looks terrible. Can I focus the camera back on my face? Worse. Yeah. Worse. yeah, I really wish I had the S camera app again because it would allow me to focus the light. It would allow me to do all sorts of other stuff. It would allow me to show both my cameras at one time. You know, little things like that. This one, don't do that. I, I, need to find it or find something equivalent. If y'all know anything, just let me know. Um, other than that, I just 
this computer is just great. It runs and you think I've thrown at it so far. My other one did too, but it didn't always run it well. Um, I should know there was one game I knew it could run. It was um, Talos Principle. It couldn't run that. There's no way it could have. That was a very pretty game. It was very intensive at the same time. Though, um, a friend of mine he had a, one of the most powerful computers. I've, actually, it is the most powerful computer I've ever seen. And he couldn't even run it all the way up. He had to turn settings down because it would get screen tearing and look like crap. It would lag real bad. And then what we did is we would um we'd share the screen onto his big TV so I could sit there and watch and I'd sit right behind him in a small cramped space. Just sit in the other side of the well not even on the other side of the room, just kinda of behind a little bit out of his little cramped space, just watching the T V and of course we could see each other and talk just fine. It's not like he was in a closet or anything. We were in the same room, it's just he had a TV directly behind him facing out into the room and his desk faced um like he faced towards the wall in the corner. So um, we shared it to the TV, and the TV just got bad t screaming and tearing. We really didn't know why we couldn't fix it. It was something to do with the video card. And every time we wanted to do it, we also had to turn off one of his monitors, because he was only able to support three monitors, not four. Could get the four monitors to work. Um, but other than that, um, this computer is absolutely amazing. I'm going to go look for that SK on my app again, and I will see you all next time. Bye.